Welcome everyone, Dr. Thor here. Get ready for some more cool old product reviews. I've got tons of these things and you're going to get to see them all. And hopefully we can find a few of these for those who really want some of that cool old stuff. Now, one of them is this fascinating psycho board with mystic crystal ball. Now, this is extremely rare and very difficult to find. I've looked for this unit for several years before locating one, but don't we all want a psycho board? So, and it's really cool. And um, it comes with this um, plastic little um, dowsing board, but it's got some very cool aspects to it. Um, and a very unique little pendulum. Now, I've never seen anything like this before. I call it the fishing pole pendulum because it looks like a fishing pole. But, you know, these designs uh, could be extremely powerful. This person thought so. And, uh, you know, to use all the traditional stuff that's out there, they look like bullets, uh, they're round, uh, they have spirals, etc. Well, I mean, these are all the classic stuff out there, but... What about something as unique as this? Well, you ask a question, and this is extremely a uh, sensitive uh, pendulum, and it's just a pendulum on a stick. Now, this is just a, uh, I believe it's a wooden stick. That's just a plastic ball on the end of it. Um, it's just as simple as that. And, of course, it has one of these balls in the center. We'll talk about that, but... Um, this, uh, you hold it over here and you can ask a question. Um, is this a good pendulum? Let's ask that. What is it spinning? And there we go. We're getting a pretty strong spin of clockwise, meaning yes. So this is something you could rig up at home uh, by getting yourself a thin little stick, putting a thread on the end of it. Let's take a look at that. Um, yeah, it's nothing special there. Just thread tied around a wooden stick and attached to just what is a, I'm trying to figure what is that. I probably would when the time this was made, but um, you could use plastic. Plastic doesn't seem to interfere with uh, the detection energies. Um, it goes in here and you'll say, what does your future hold is on this board, which is very interesting. Um, you, uh, of course, it has this holder. It has a very unique feature here, which is kind of cool as well. It has two discs. Uh, that state yes or no on it. And of course, this is when you ask a question. Uh, that, uh, again, using this pen, you could use any pendulum you want. You have one you like, but I mean, the whole idea is to use new stuff, fun stuff, and you ask uh, a question, and then you see if it'll spin to the yes or move to the, now it's not a spin, but of course, it will move in that, uh, that particular type of movement for no and for yes. So, um, and a lot of people like that. They don't like necessarily the spins. They prefer to have actually um, uh, these cross things. I prefer spins uh, as I've went into before, but do check out my dowsing information. But what's cool about this is that these are not printed on both sides. So only one side has the yes or no on it. So what you can do is kind of mix them up. Don't know what then you place them face down like this. And, you know, everybody can rig their own stuff like this. So, you know, if you have, uh, if you're into all this stuff, you can make copies of this to a certain degree on your own. Because uh, trying to find this is going to be near impossible. And these tend not to be inexpensive. But um, they certainly... So what you do is you put it, oh, now what is it? Yes or no? Now, here's where, because everybody says, oh, it all comes from your mind. <laughs> You're making it move. You know, this is how it's done. I'm Terrence, I know. Uh, so the whole idea is that um, this is a great way to actually ask a question without not without knowing it. And you can have somebody else place these or just mix them up and um, and so forth. And that way you can get a yes or no without you not knowing. Of course, that's what you want. You want your psycho board to give you right information. Now, there's also this little energy uh, marble here. It's just glass. Um, 
But, you know, it's a very serious tool here. Here's the instructions that come with this. Let me see if I can find out when this was made. Of course, it's made in America. You know how old that must be. Um, so by happy hour. So I have a drink and uh, get happy. You know, this is when people were serious. You did fun things. Uh, so this is a... Uh, um, and the psycho board, as it says here, which is very interesting, is based on... Um, a serious experiment used by many parapsychologists and students of psychology. Oh, okay, here we go. Copyright 1957. Whoa. <laughs> Good God. So you're talking about something that's 63 years old. Wow. And it happens to be mint. It's just plastic. It's just very cheap plastic that uh, is made inexpensively. It has a nice little, uh, I don't know if that was directly printed on there or whatever, but it's a nice clear print. Um, and it's this psycho board. Let's get a good shot of those instructions. Oh, man, is this thing in mint. So, with Mystic Crystal Ball, Psycho Board, the fabulous new game that searches your subconscious and answers your questions. Will I be successful? Shall I buy now? Will I get a raise? Will tomorrow be my lucky day? Well, here we go again. Shall I buy? I mean, things never change. Everybody's always looking for those financial uh, boosts there. But what I like about these things, you know, I always get, oh, you, these are games. They're for kitties. Preschool. You know, idiots, um, which of course is most people, um, don't understand that particularly when these things came out, this was a serious time. People took these things seriously. They produced things. There were schools and institutions out there actually um, making these things. So what this says, the psycho, uh, the psycho board is based on a pendulum device used by parapsychologists and students of psychology, the psycho board demonstrates the concept of the subconscious control of muscular activity. Proper use, it will provide answers to questions with amazing accuracy and frequently with spectacular and shocking revolution, revelations. How to use your psycho board is absolutely essential that the following instructions be carefully observed. Like everything, use it right if you expect to get good results. Um, step one, place the psycho board on a table with the mystic ball in the center of the depression. Now, the mystic ball, of course, is this right here. So, um, which... I'm not sure what that does. Uh, it's some sort of just glass marble. There seems to be some something in it. Uh, I don't know if that's deliberate. Or they've done something to it. It's possible. It doesn't really say that. So, let's get back to the instructions here because you are fascinated. Um, so, when we get in here... Um, um, Place the psycho board on the table with the mystic ball in the center of depression. Face the board and hold the stick at the extreme end of the pendulum, uh, the opposite end of the pendulum. Keep your arm and elbow away from your body, etc. So you want to hold that uh, stick ball. Hold the pendulum so that the ball is suspended about an inch or two above the actual ball. So what you want to do here is that you're using this and you're suspending it. Um what is approximately inch or two above, which would be like this. Of course, film is very deceptive. So apparently this is some sort of unique method. As I said, it doesn't appear that the ball is uh, special. It looks just like a glass marble, but who knows? Maybe it was programmed with something. You know, these are ways of making um, um, things uh, quite... Um, Powerful by adding these little things. We just don't know. That's why it's so great to get tools like that. Hold the pendulum so it's suspended. Concentrate your complete attention, mental and visual, on the board. Concentrate your complete attention, mental and physical, on one of the horizontal lines. So of course, you see how there's all these horizontal lines here. So they want you to concentrate on one of those. Um, 
which is very interesting as well. This is a cute little technique. Um, ignore anything except the horizontal line. Once you concentration, you'll be amazed to find that the weight will begin, um, that the pendulum will start to actually spin because you're concentrating on the horizontal line. Not any line, I should say. You want to concentrate on the actual horizontal line here. Of course, you put it like this, you have this over it, you're concentrating on the um, horizontal line. So, and of course, um, this is a way, what we call, of shifting. You're now shifting your consciousness uh, to that particular um, reality that you have there. Remember, complete concentration is the key to your success with the psycho board. Uh, the time required before the weight move begins, um, before the weight begins to move, will depend upon, to a large extent, the degree of concentration you put in there. But of course, this is old thinking too. It's not quite concentrating. It's basically detaching. It's concentrating away from the common garbage. Continue the concentration until the swing of the pendulum is is uh, quite full and defined. So you want to make sure it moves. As the psycho board user, you already uh, you have already enjoyed the first step. Your subconscious has spoken to you. So that's a great way uh, to do it. That's the basic use of it, obviously. So, and it's going to, um, you're concentrating on that line and then it should give you a yes or no. So you're either gonna spin up to the uh, yes or no that's up in the corner here if you're asking that kind of a question, or you can use a spin, etc. as we go into it. But you know, we wanna follow what this actual board tells you. And that tells you um, uh, to follow that horizontal line. Step two, you are now prepared for the second step in your pendulum experiment. Simply concentrate on the vertical line and the pendulum will change its course from the vertical and begin to spin along um, the horizontal line, I should say, and will start to spin uh, and will start to swing, not spin, uh, along the vertical line. So wh what that first thing was is to get the pendulum um, um, going. So the whole idea was that you first got it to get to work and you concentrate it and it starts moving on the horizontal. Now we're going to um, do the vertical. So now you're going to concentrate to get it to do. So first you went back and forth now because uh, now this is classic pyramid training when you're going with the back and forth swings and this is what a lot of people do. As I said I prefer spins but that's advanced work because a lot of people can't get spins. Um, now, step three, without interpreting the swing of the pendulum along the vertical line, turn your full attention to the larger circle around the center of the ball. Think in terms of the circle, and soon the pendulum will switch its course and begin to swing in a circle. If you concentrate hard enough, the size of the circle depends upon uh, the your concentration. Well, here again, this is cool because this is a great training. It's a little difficult doing this on camera and trying to do all the things I'm doing. Um, but let's go over this uh, because it's um, a little difficult um, uh, and I explain things uh, not too clear. So the point is, is that you start off with and then you want to get the pendulum and you hold it over there and you concentrate it going back and forth, you know, side to side. That's the horizon. Then you want to go vertical. The up and down. Now you want to concentrate on the greater circle. The whole circle, but you can concentrate on the circle of this. But when holding this over it, and what's going to happen? You're going to go around the circle, usually. Now you've got all the pendulum movement. You see how cool this is? See what a great tool this is? Only 63 years old. And guess what? It's damn good. So, like with all these things, uh, modern people haven't figured out how to train you this way. And I can imagine this probably cost like three bucks. Of course, that was a long time ago, but uh, this could be made even today. Um, now what you can do by re uh, reversing your visual and mental concentration, you can reverse the swing of the pendulum. So you can concentrate on, think about going clockwise, think about going counterclockwise, think about going vertical. 
Uh, this is because you want to tell the pendulum what to do when you ask it questions. So you want to get some. So you, you have to program it and know what you want, or at least know what it's doing so you can get the proper answers from it. I know it's a little confusing. Now the real fun begins. You are ready to ask the psycho board for answers to your questions. Hold the pendulum over the mystic ball in the center of the board and think in terms of either yes or no. So then you get there and you say, um, now you want to get into some, that was just testing the spins. Now you want to say, should I buy Amazon stock? And you hold it over the ball and you wait for it to get a particular movement. And this will be a yes or no question. So without boring people, it seems to be going over to that is a yes. Well, it's hard to concentrate there to do it right. Or it could be no. See how you have those cool discs at the top? Super idea, especially the fact that you can turn them over and not really know what they are. Concentrate on the word of your choice with your full thought. Move your eyes um, from the mystic ball to the word, the pendulum uh, that you want. So, well, okay, this is a pre-thing. I, I was jumping ahead there, but see, what they're telling you is that hold it over the ball and then say, go to yes. And then you hold it over again, go to no. And again, you're getting the directions that um, you're telling the pendulum what to do without moving it, okay? So this is getting all the spins, the directions. Again, this is very important. Now, you don't see this in too many other pendulum training areas because they just want to move you right into things. But here you're learning the spins. You're getting the energy going. You're conditioning your inner magical being to say, hey, look, um, pay attention to this. Make these movements so I understand it. You know, one of the problems with so many things in the whole area of metaphysics and the occult sciences is the fact that, um, you know, like dreams, what does it mean? Right? It's unclear. So it's important that you make things clear. Um, and you should be, uh, and you can ask a question that you already know. Is it daytime? And then, and then you tell the, uh, you ask the pendulum, is it daytime? Well, you know it's daytime. So it should swing over to yes. So, and you can ask 